Hello everyone, Dr. Stevens here. So in this video, we're teaching you about the great blood cells. So in high level, we call red blood cells as erythrocytes. So airy means ray, site means cell. So erythrocyte, in other words, means red blood cell. So first of all, the main function I believe all of us do understand, right? So the main function of red blood cell is to transport oxygen throughout the body, okay? So there are a few more things that you have to understand as a good student, all right? So one of it is uh, where is the site of production for red blood cell, okay? So red blood cells are produced in the bone marrow, okay? And in the peripheral bloodstream, they can survive for about 120 days before being destroyed by the spleen or the liver, okay? And what are the adaptations for red blood cells to transport the oxygen effectively? Remember, there are three adaptations. Firstly, red blood cell has got no nucleus. Secondly, red blood cell is small. And thirdly, red blood cell is having biconcave this shape. All these three characteristics are to allow the red blood cell to have what we call as the high total surface area over volume ratio for more effective diffusion of gases and transport of gases, particularly the oxygen gas. Another thing the students must understand is in red blood cells, we have these red pigments known as the hemoglobin. Okay, so hemoglobin is actually a quaternary protein, which means it is made up of four globin chains. Okay, and in each globin chain, there is a heme group that has an iron core in it. Okay, so this iron core is where the oxygen molecules will bind to later on, forming what we call as the oxyhemoglobin. All right, so this is just some bonus uh, information for you. In SPM, there are three forms of hemoglobin that you must understand. So first of all, when oxygen binds to hemoglobin, this forms what we call as the oxyhemoglobin. Hemoglobin can also be used to carry carbon dioxide. So when carbon dioxide binds to hemoglobin, it forms what we call as the carbaminohemoglobin. Last but not least, we have a competitor, you know, called carbon monoxide. They compete with oxygen and unfortunately, hemoglobin has a higher affinity towards carbon monoxide, which means they love carbon monoxide more than oxygen gas, okay? And when carbon monoxide binds with hemoglobin, it forms what we call as the carboxyhemoglobin. So these are the things which are important for your exam in terms of red blood cells. I am Dr. Stephen Lee. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoy my biology related videos, do subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, like my Facebook page and Instagram page. Thank you so much. I'll see you again next time.